from the dead. For race day up at Winston I-35 Speedway, we've got the MR2. It's got the Eurocross tires on. That's not what we're going to run uh, back here in the bed. <laughs> Tucks up in there. We've got these sweet Continental 340 treadwear tires on the 15s. We run on the gold five-spoke wheels, and that's what's going to go on because I-35 Speedway is like autocross with some dirt on it. So... Um, Almost got to run there once with the MR2 and then it rained us out, like, right as I was doing my uh, parade lap. So hopefully that doesn't happen tomorrow. This is the beginning of the season where we will battle against Ryan in the MGB. Ryan's been running the MGB for a few seasons in modified rear-wheel drive. And uh, we've, you know, taken him on a couple of times in an event here or there. But now we're starting at event number one of the Kansas City SCCA Region Rallycross season. And we're going to try to race the whole season, Miles and I co-driving the MR2. And I am not so sure that Miles isn't going to beat all of us. We have arrived. I-35 Speedway, Winston. And so has the competition. And over here also as well. I see nothing but slow competition. Nothing but slow competition. I am the superior driver. Yeah. I am the world's fastest of the slowest car. Well, I mean, front-wheel drive is always going to be faster. So yeah. that's just the way it is. I mean, nothing. Except for that guy. Yeah, over there. Yeah. Okay, the wind's gonna blow. You're not gonna be able to hear us at all, but here we are. We are here. Ready to do battle. There are four cars in the modified rear today, I think. Uh, last I checked, there's like, well, yeah, the four different cars, like eight drivers. Four cars, eight drivers. We're all two driver cars. Yeah. yeah. So it should be, uh, and all good drivers. Everybody's a good driver. We got two kind of novice, newer drivers, but I'm still watching out for this guy over here because he's gonna. Right. Yeah, kick us Eventually. in the face. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, yeah. We've got you and the B. Right. We've got the MR2, obviously. And then over there, we've got a Miotter and the Tracker. No, no, the Miotter's the stock rear car. Yeah, but there's another but the, like, uh, Miata. The other Miotter is the, yeah, yep. right. Which is actually a prepared car, but they wanted to run in mod because they heard we were fast or something. You got Hoosier Rain tires. Yep. I got my Continentals that I love so much. Mm -hmm. And then Bill's probably on a Eurocross or something yes. like that. Yeah, so he's, he's going to be unstuck. And then uh, I don't know what they got on the Miata. 200 treadwares or something? Probably. Okay. All right. So that, it'll come down to tires. It'll be a tire thing for sure. But a it's different, different style on each car. And it's so tight in the infield and dusty in the morning here that that's going to be a thing too. Oh, yeah. So, all right. Well, you go to the bathroom. We'll go to the driver's meeting. And then we'll race. Oh man, it's hot. <laughs> oh my god, it's hot. 
we might need uh, the tent guy to put some tent on this car, just whatever scraps he has, you know, like yeah. just throw some tent on this thing. It's freaking hot. This is so tight right here. Sideways, you know, like this car will do. Get it sideways early. The whole front half is just tight, tight, tight. And then you got the big sweeper. Crossover. You know, it's fun though. It's gonna be fun. It's never not fun. God, it's loud in here. Whatever. Race car stuff. You think Dale ever said, boy, it's too loud in here. I don't want to race this NASCAR because it's Obviously too loud not. in here. No, he did One, not. One, two, three, four. Two years to run. Two years to run. Then we turn the page on the escapades. No, I don't know why. No, I don't know why. Perhaps they'll die. Oh, yeah. 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 Second verse. Same as the first. Jackie is a punk. No, third run. Third runs. Third, second driver, third runs. Second driver, third runs. Not sure where we're standing at the moment. I need to look at live timing again, but I hit three cones on that last run. It was a mess. Let's see how Ryan's doing. Consistency game today. Yeah, yeah, there's it's going to be. Because there's so many cones. Where do they all come from? I don't know how there could be so many cones out there. All right, I ran a 50.4 last time. Miles is going out. He ran a 52 something, 52 four ish, yeah. clean this last time, so he's good. What was your last? Do you know? Uh, like a 51.5. Okay. 51.5. So I. And I'm still screwing up the whole. We're thing. probably real even with my three cones on that one run, I would imagine. Yeah. So have you hit cones? No. no, no cones. This man, this man, is not hitting cones. I'm cone free this year. Cone free so far this year, <laughs> this season. Looks like the MGB GTS is. Roughly down for the count, but he just might not need to know how to restart it. So, what happens? Quit. Died. Okay. Died. No gas. Okay. Hmm. Died. No gas. This is not good. There's not any fuel in the fuel. Tank. There's a little bit down there, but not much. Yeah, the pump's not rattling. Uh, no clicky clacky. Nope. Bummer. Yeah. Ew. I got a million of them at home. Yep, nothing bumping. Brand new fuel pump. Plug in. All right, first heat is over. Sadly, this is where the BGT is. You think you're gonna get it going again? No, there's no. No parts places around here. So it's it's literally the pump, not wiring or anything else. Power is good to go. Of course. Yeah. Jesus. Of course. Yeah. Should have brought the old one. Yeah, it still works. Yeah, I'm sure it does. So they're out. The uh, modified rear wheel drive car of Niles and Josh. They're having some intermittent cutout problems, so they're kind of down. It's basically between us and Bill at this point. And uh, really, it's like, I think it's me and Miles sort of battling for who's fastest today so far. So we'll see how the results shake out uh, as we go out to work. He fast. Parade laps for second heat are happening. Like a good SCCA worker, I will not have my phone out while they are running. So we will get through this second heat here in the morning. We'll have a little hot dog lunch, courtesy of Mr. Mark Hill, the fastest man on the grill. Then we'll get back to racing this afternoon. The results so far. Let me tell you about this. So we know Ryan and Larry are out in the MGB GT, and that is unfortunate. Once they get all done, you're good to start sending them up. Very good, thank you. So Niles and Josh uh, in their Miata, they also broke. So Larry, Ryan, Niles, and Josh, four people out of modified rear wheel drive. And it's really just down to me and Miles and Bill and Wyatt in the tracker. And Miles is getting faster all the time. Miles uh, pulled out a 51.5 on his last run, and that's faster than most everybody else's runs all day. I'm running about 50 and a half, but that's, you know, the course is going to change in the afternoon. So uh, that will be different. So I think the car's really good at the moment with the rear pressures lowered down a little bit. It was a little less iffy. And then right over here, 
we decided to stop putting it into first and spinning the tires so much. Miles did a run. I think it was his fourth run. And he went for first and he crammed it into third in this hairpin right here, this turnaround. And he went faster. So I said, well, I'm going to leave it in second then. So go for second next time. Just leave it right there. And it bogged down and chug it, chug it. But you know what? It didn't spin the tires and it didn't waste a whole bunch of time and got in there and got out of there in pretty short order. So that's the way around. It's dusty in the middle uh, for now. It might blow off by this second time around. I don't know how we'll run. Maybe we'll change the course to go backwards. Who knows? But uh, for now, um, the keeping the higher gear and getting the stick on the tires, that was the right way. So we'll try to keep that up this afternoon. And so that's our, that's hey, our con. That. Here's how it goes. Right now it's me in first in modified rear, Bill down there in second in the tractor, and this guy in third. These guys are back in action in their Miata, which is right here. Their wiring harness was a little loose. They got it fixed. So they're going to be competition again. Ryan and Larry are out in the MGB, but their, uh, their MGB turned into a Nissan Sentra. So, you know, they're going to at least get some runs in, which is cool. So we're going to go, uh, go racing for the afternoon and see where we end up. Because as the crankshaft binds up on the bearings a little bit, then it breaks through and revs up and then binds up. Oh, is that what you think it is? Yeah, yeah great. Thanks, Kevin. We've developed an interesting little rev bounce. Uh, who knows what that's all about, but um, I'm sure we'll figure it out later or I'll run the shit out of it and maybe it won't care. Or who knows? It just needs cleaned out. That's yeah, we just got to clean it out. I don't like it when their car's running right. <laughs> they can beat me. in the back so it's not oil it's got to be coolant hmm interesting i don't like that we have the idling issue now we seem to have some coolant on the ground uh hopefully the car stays cool so far so good but i ran slower 51 7 or so uh something like that um it just felt loose it felt looser than this morning i don't know what that means but you know uh i don't, I don't think i hit any cones though so that's good i'm gonna check here on the live timing and uh, see if I can keep up my uh, pace and hold my lead or lose it to Miles. All right, Miles is over there making the sounds of our people. try to pull it up on the trailer and see if we can fix it. Good? Too. Yeah. It's up under a pan and it's just pouring out. Really? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah oh man, if we can get it, if we can get the freaking ramp off. Let's take the other side off. The other side will come off. I think we need a 10 millimeter on our. It sounds 
like it's boiling. That's what you want to hear. Shit. Oh, yeah, I hear it. <laughs> Yep. What the hell is that? There's not even a clamp on it. Where's the clamp? It's right here. What the hell am I even looking at? Oh, is it leaking up higher? Is that like a sleeve? No, that's just, that's the clamp. I bet it's a broken hose. I can't I can't no, actually I see it. Put more coal in there. Right. Uh, yeah, we got more. We'll put more in. We'll just keep feeding it. I don't know why it's bubbling. Maybe just because it has air in it or something. The coolant leak has intensified. It's just steady now. We're watching the gauge. I'm creeping up on hot here. I don't know what to do. I wish I could run a, an extra fan, but I got nothing. I can turn the heat up, run it through the heater core. That's about it. I think we might be done after this run. I hate to say it, but that's the way it's gonna go. God dang, we were running so good too. I might need that motor from you here in a minute. We're getting hot. I'm hoping that getting some air over the radiator will help, but I think we're done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just let me go. I'm gonna pop the back. Watch yourself when you open it. Open the open the trunk or open the. Uh, I can't reach it. Never mind. Okay, so the car's getting really hot because we have this coolant leak. We tried to figure it out, but uh, we ain't figured it out. We put more coolant in it. It's just boiling. So we um, we're just trying to keep it cool. Um, pop the hood on it when we came back. Tried to let the engine cool down, and it could be lying to us too. You know, it could be the gauge isn't right or whatever, but I hope it's going to be okay. The, it's just steaming out the coolant uh, overflow right now, and Miles is out there running it right now, and uh, like I say, once it gets moving, it, it start, the temperature starts to go down because the, the air flows over the radiator, and I kind of wonder if our fan isn't running now that I think about it. I need to check that when he comes back. You guys get ready to go. Yeah. Uh, is it me or you? It's I me. I think it's your turn. Well, MacGyver over here just fixed the fans, so hopefully we'll be able to run. Ryan is a crazy son of a bitch. Ryan... Ryan hot-wired the coolant temp sensor together so our fans would run. The, the car still smells incredibly hot. We got a hot-wired coolant temp sensor so the fans will run. They were off. Yeah, you unplug the sensor. Oh, really? You don't have to hot, You don't have to jumper it at all? Yeah, okay, cool. Good to know. Thank you. Randy there knows some things about MRTs. We're going to race down this straightaway here with this car. The car was knocking. I'm kind of still taking it easy on it. I'm not sure how many runs I'll get total, but you know, more runs the merrier. I always like to run. Jesus Christ, what can't a Toyota do with incredibly talented people around to help, okay? They're just sending me back out again. Gonna do two in a row, I guess. That damn belt, squealing to beat the band. I don't even know what run I'm on. Maybe this is my fifth. Maybe Miles has had four and not five. I don't really know, but... We got, we got to get Miles all of his runs, too. I feel like they're not running again. Can I pop it? You check it real quick, see if the fans are running. I can hear them. You can hear them? Good? Okay. Good. 
Okay, so your brakes help you stop, slow down and stuff. You should probably use them sometimes. Come on, let's do this one. That was so dumb. This run's gonna be crazy slow, but I don't really care. What? Hey, don't you need another run? Ah, oh, man. Why? I should be the one not taking another run. Don't ever do that again. I've had plenty of runs. So I went over to Niles and I said, Niles, I want to tell you about my new favorite rallycross car. And he said, don't tell me it's a CVT Sentra. And I said, okay. You raced the Sentra in place of the B. Yes. In the second half. How was it? Uh, awesome. Yeah. AC on the uh, whole time. Oh, yeah, right? Just ripping, yeah. Um, I figured out that the AC does do a lot. Like, yeah. I turned it off for the very last run. Uh-huh. And it had, like, twice as much power. Oh, yeah, yeah, twice. Especially, like, in the fit. You yeah. you have one now. You yes. know. You know how it but, goes. But, you know, uh... Dude, that thing swings. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad that y'all at least enjoyed the last half of the afternoon. No, it was awesome. Uh, um, and thank you for the fix on the uh, on the MR2. So the the best part of it though was Larry driving, and I'd start to feel the car understeer, and I just yank up the e brake for him. Yeah, yeah. And um, he just drives right through it. Yeah, me, Miles and I were joking about doing that early on because you know the e brake on the MR2 is all the way over there on the passenger side anyway. Right. You know, yeah. we both had a great time in the last car we would have ever rallied across. Yeah, who would have known in the battle of attrition today <laughs> that it would have ended up being the tracker? Yeah, that came out. The tracker never breaks though, so mm -hmm. I mean. But yeah, Bill's tracker was the only one that did not. Yeah, it's the only one that didn't break. I'm just going to keep repeating that until it breaks. <laughs> so it's me one. Did you get second or Bill? Bill second. Bill got second. And then you're in third? I'm in third. After all the, after after all all the said and done? After all that, I ended up in third. I'd still like to see what Miles ended up with after he didn't do his last two runs because he does get the he does get the slowest time of the run. Is it plus 10 or is it? Something like that. So probably by the time we get stuff loaded up, ready to go. More than likely we'll have the finals. Yep. What the real results But next time, you're going to take the extra run. Because I've, I've done this for several years now and I've done plenty of runs. We need to get this next generation, this guy later, him for now, as many runs as they can get. Yes. Like you said, I respect your opinion. You're like, it's your car, so I should get the runs, and I agree with that. That's nice of you, but, uh, you know, you need the experience. And you could have beat at least me and Bill, and, you know what I mean? Like, you might have been first. I don't know. In the end, <laughs> it's possible. It's been a couple weeks since we did the racing, and uh, here the car sits. You might notice the hose. You might notice some bottles sitting back there um it turns out that this wasn't a coolant leak that affected us at all the coolant leak was the symptom and that was the lesson learned from racing that day is that not everything is always a cause of your problem sometimes it could just be the symptom of your problem so in this case um i think the cause was just low coolant that might have been it but it also could have been a stuck thermostat there's a possibility of that, but I think it was just low coolant. Pretty simple, but I went down the path of what are the things that I should fix, and I got myself a new thermostat, so that's cool. New ASIN, top-notch, high-quality thermostat. I did a full flush on the system, and we're going to refill it with OE Toyota coolant. All of that stuff's going to be in another video soon, but uh, I just wanted to finish up this video by saying, you know, it was great. We got the victory. It was a battle of attrition. <laughs> we should have been driving a lot smoother and not had to worry about all that hectic business, but you know what? That's, that's racing. That's the way it goes, especially in Rallycross. We learned a lesson. Keep the coolant full. That's about it. But uh, the MR2 will be back to battle in the next event, which was supposed to be today, this day that I am filming this on. But instead, I've got time to film a thing because we got rained out. Did not happen. So uh, we'll probably make that one up. We'll have another one. I don't know. It'll be in a while. And the car will be absolutely 100% ready, and I will be ready, and Miles will be ready, and then Ryan's car will be ready, too. We will move on to round two of the 2024 Kansas City Rallycross Modified Rear Wheel Drive 
battle. So until then, you know what you got to do. You got to go out and find your own apex because it is better late than never. We'll see you next time.